so stupid. What is your deal? I love you. You can must be waiting for ya Even now when we're already over I can't help myself from looking for ya But I said fire to the rain Watch it pour as I touch your face <laughs> Happy 4th of July, everybody. PLV is ready to do another DigitalSig.com challenge. This one is called the Pro Tank Rocket. Happy 4th of July. It's the final countdown. Okay, so this part of the video is where I need to give you a disclaimer. I took on this project and I wasn't exactly sure how it's going to pan out, and I still don't. And so please don't try this at home. We're not going to be anywhere around this thing. We're going to film it all and it's all done very safely. So please do not replicate what we're doing. With that being said, this is your pro tank rocket so the pro tank yep what I've done is I filled the inside with a special powdery substance and I've stuck a wick in the both the top and the bottom so this is actually three tries now we have to kind of do this quickly because the fire bands here um, we really shouldn't be doing this but we have a fire extinguisher and um, safety is our first first number one precaution so um, we're going to a remote location and um, we are going to attempt to send this pro tank or at least get it off the air off the ground into the air somehow. We'll we'll see what happens. Uh, who knows? We don't want to have to rebuild this, so we'll light one wick at a time. Um, unless it comes down to the rockets on the edges, then we'll try to get all three all at once, and we'll see how that goes. But um, we have it all set up, ready to go, so that where we get to our remote location, we can just set it off. Um, then we have your digital sig.com monkey. Yep, the digital sig.com monkey. Okay? No quorums on the monkey. We love the monkey. We actually hope he stays intact so we can keep him. Then, you remember those crappy CE2s that never work and always were Bernie? Yeah. Let's get rid of one of those too. Yeah, let's get rid of one of those crappy CE2 things. Got two M150s trapped onto that one. Okay, so then uh, Tim from the digitalsig.com sent me a Phoenix uh, cartomizer, and I had never seen one of these before. Um, I actually don't have it with me. I'm going to have to grab it before we head out. Um, it's in my turn because I was trying to use it yesterday, and I could not get it to wick at all. Not even to use it one time. I couldn't get bubbles to go, I couldn't get juice to flow, I can't get it to wick, I filled it upside down, I vaped it upside down, I pushed, I pulled, I sucked, I blew, I cannot get the damn thing to go. So you know what I got for that phoenix? And all you phoenix lovers are going to hate me. We're going to blow it up too. What am I going to say? Uh, we're going to have three cameras running. We're going to try to get a, a close up so we can do a frame by frame, maybe in slow mo or something cool like that. Um, and hopefully everything will go okay and we can um, not get in trouble. <laughs> so, um, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit risky with the fire bands and stuff. So, uh, again, don't try this at home. Um, we're, 
we're going to be as safe as we can possibly be. So, um, see you out there. Okay, so I was all excited building this thing, man, and you know, the boy in me is going, yeah, we're going to blow some pro tank up, yeah, we're going to send the pro tank into the sky, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, right? And then the adult side kicked in, and um, we were just going to light this out in the back, and you know, no big deal, a parking lot, whatever, but if this thing really does take off, it, it could potentially be dangerous, and... I'm not sure what it's going to do. It's going to do one of three things. One, not work at all. Two, blow up. Three, it's going to take off or try to shoot or spark or something to that magnitude, which is what we're hoping for. Um, but the point is, is that I don't know what it's going to do. And so I wanted to mention that we did take into consideration this, our own personal safety and everybody around us safety so um, we're not doing this with negligence per se yeah. Are you excited? I am, but I'm a little nervous too Yeah, yep. I'm nervous We got some water in case something happens We have a fire extinguisher in the car and uh, hopefully all will go well. So we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna book it. <laughs> so, uh, let's get it done. All right, so we got the camera angles set up in the parking lot. Yeah. Gosh. Go over there. Perfect, right there. Nope, over here. Yeah. That was the pro tank rocket. We're okay, everything's all right. Wow, that was badass. We'll have to see that in the slow-mo cap. That's the bottom cap. That's the top cap. What's up guys? As you saw in the video, there was no rocket. It just went kaboom. Um, so reviewing in the video what happened was I think I had too much accelerant inside of the pro tank and um, it didn't have a big enough hole in the bottom to diffuse all the accelerant so basically it had nowhere to go but boom um, everybody was okay no fires nobody got hurt that is the main key it was really awesome um, so why don't we take another look at it again in slow-mo What's that? Even slower? Frame by frame? Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, needless to say, homemade pro tank rocket fail. What I've done 
because <laughs> I put it back together. And we're gonna try it again, because it's gotta get a be a rocket. So, um, Pro Tank Rocket, take two. Stay off, don't do that. So we're gonna blow up the Phoenix right now, in the box, as safe as possible. Let's check it out. We've got this camera. I'm calling it the implosion camera. Watch. We're gonna go back here, where it's nice and safe. Yes. Come here, Jack. You wanna watch this? It's gonna be loud. Okay. No? I'm gonna probably drop this. Oh, What's that? Even slower? Frame by frame? Oh, okay. This is the CE2 that we all hate. Jack, no, 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 no. Sorry. Okay. You ready? You ready? Don't be loud. Look at me. C2 didn't do anything, so we put it on some M150s instead of M90s, so we've almost doubled it, so we'll see what happens.
was our 4th of July shing ding. We had a kablam in time. It was so booming. <laughs> um, but uh, the Pro Tank rocket was a total fail. Uh, just didn't want to take off. I think the Pro Tank was just a little bit too heavy and um, we don't have uh, fireworks stands here so I couldn't go out and get a big rocket. So we did what we could with what I had and uh, it was a good time and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, so uh, we've kind of gotten out of the norm on our normal format of the video uh, with the last two videos and um, we're kind of going to be going back. I know these videos have been long and um, we've kind of done that to tide you over because uh, we wanted to get the Pro Tank rocket out to you by the 4th of July. So. Um, Hopefully we've gotten that done for you, and you guys have enjoyed your 4th of July, and everybody's been safe, and everybody still has their fingers and their faces, and uh, we will see all you beautiful people on the next episode of PLV. Peace, love, and vape, everybody. Hey guys, thanks for watching episode 6. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the Pro Tank launch, which didn't really launch, but it was still fun. I had a good time kind of scary. Glad that we all have our fingers and our eyes. Anyways, hope you guys had a great 4th of July and we'll see you guys next time. Peace, love, and bake.